Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10, and it reads, in fall, and it reads as follows. In my former book, Theopolis, I wrote about all the, that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles, he had chosen. After suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the time or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes to you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them, Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Amen. Well, we start off and it says the former account I made reading the book that I wrote. Um, and this was the book of Luke because this is Luke that is speaking. Um and the book of Acts is what Luke wrote. We're joined together as one book with two different volumes, with two volumes. Um, so Luke is continuing his writing and seeing the things that he is seeing. And Luke references to former writings. He is, Luke is very detailed. He was a doctor. Um, and when he speaks to Theophilus, um, this man might have been a follower of Christ. Um, that was wanting instructions, um, but he might have been a Roman official being briefed by Luke also. I didn't see where or what they said, who he was, but I will tell you this, Theopolis means God lover, so from just that, you know that he must have been following the Lord in his own way. So Luke is talking to him, and he says, I wrote about all the that Jesus began to do and to teach, until the day he was taken up to heaven. And after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit, and he's saying the Holy Spirit gave out instructions from the Lord to the apostles he had chosen. And this was after his suffering, after he had suffered, he presented himself to them. So after all the suffering, the death and everything, the resurrection, Jesus presented himself to them to give them proof, and it was convincing proof that he was not dead. He appeared to them over a 40 days period. He was showing up. He was talking to them. He was feeding them. He was breaking bread with them. He was telling them to cast their nets. Jesus was showing them and helping their faith increase. And when he saw him, he, he spoke about the kingdom of God where he was, was returning to, and what was in store for them. On one occasion, it says while they were eating, he was eating with them, he gave them this command. And this was a command for a specific purpose and a specific gift. He said, do not leave Jerusalem. Don't leave. And it wasn't because, you know, there was something to worry about, that they were afraid or something. He told them, don't leave because... Wait for the gift my father promised. The Lord made a promise, a promise, and he was telling them, stay here until you receive the gift that my father promised. And you heard me speak about this before. I, it, it's not like you didn't hear me speak about this gift. Because when John was baptized with water, and I spoke of the Holy Spirit, and John spoke about you'll be baptized by the Holy Spirit. In a few days, you all will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, all of you. 
Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus pretty much said to him, that's not for you to know. You don't need to worry about the time nor the date for that authority and that ability belongs to my father only. But what you do need to know is you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. When the Holy Spirit gets here, you will receive power. And you will be my witnesses. You will testify. You will talk of me. You will do things of me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. It ain't just stopping in your localized area. After Jesus said this, he was taken up before their very eyes. They saw him leaving. And a cloud hit him from their sight when he got up. It hit him from their sight. And they were looking at him intently. They were trying to see him up in the sky as he was going. And then suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. And you can look in the Gospels and you can see when they were in Jesus' tomb. It says one, it says two, but they stood beside them. You can look back to Abraham when the three strangers were afar and Abraham welcomed them. And it just puts you in the mindset that these are angels that are standing beside them. And they spoke and said, men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? Why are you looking up there? We're going to tell you, you, you don't need to, because this same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven, because that's where he was going, y'all, in case you didn't catch his message that he told you. He was going into heaven. He will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. So the angels told him that he's going to heaven. And the angels also bear witness to the fact that heaven is there. Jesus had been telling them about it, but now you have somebody else telling you about it because the angels are speaking to you saying, he is going to heaven. Amen.